For cops across the country, reporting for duty means putting their lives on the line. Decisions made in an instant could have deadly consequences. We see some horrible things. What one Albuquerque police officer saw last September. How far along are you? Oh my gosh. Okay. Shook him to his core. It caught me off guard. It shocked me. I was pretty upset. And the decision right. he made in that very moment. So here's what I'm going to do, okay? Changed lives forever right and now. touched hearts around the world. This is an act that's beyond anything I'd ever seen. And I'll probably never see it again. When Officer Ryan Holitz swore to protect and serve the people of Albuquerque, New Mexico, he wasn't fulfilling a childhood dream. In fact, becoming a cop was his backup plan. I always thought, if, if everything else fails, I'll just go do that. Ryan's real dream was thousands of miles away from the place he'd always called home. I wanted to go be a missionary pilot flying bush airplanes in Africa. A far-off dream that was soon well within reach. I had my pilot's license when I was 17. I went to college, I got my aviation maintenance degrees. What do you look forward to every day? Ryan tells our Narissa Knight that after college, he decided joining the police force would turn his dream into reality and achieve his ultimate goal. I really was focused on getting into the air support unit. I could work, get a bunch of experience that would be very useful in my later goals of possibly still going and flying in the bush. But while training to become a cop, Ryan realized he didn't need to travel halfway around the world to find people in need. People like to think that the people who need help are the people over there. They never stop and look around and say, the people here need help. So that's what Ryan Holitz has been doing on the streets of Albuquerque ever since he became a police officer in 2011. When I got out from the academy and started working on the streets, I realized that I couldn't leave the streets. And I enjoyed taking calls and um, just being in the thick of everything. On a Saturday in September, one of those calls brought the cop to this convenience store for what seemed like a fairly routine assignment. Somebody was trying to steal beer, and the store clerk wanted an officer out to tell them to leave. By the time Officer Holitz and his trainee arrived, the would-be beer thief was gone. But something else caught his attention. I don't know why, but I just happened to look off to the side of the building, and down in the grass, I saw Tom and Crystal. Holitz turned his body camera on, and he approached the couple. Hello, folks. How are you guys doing today? What all you got in your hands there, ma'am? The six-year police veteran had been on the job long enough to know the answer. So I'm not gonna lie, it looks like you guys are getting ready to shoot up over here. It's a scene he's become all too familiar with. Any officer who works anywhere in America right now is constantly facing the effects of this opioid crisis that everybody's talking about. But what he thought would be another routine arrest was about to take an alarming turn as they were trying to hide the needles and trying to move stuff around because they saw a police officer walking up. When she moved, that's when I noticed that she was very pregnant. His reaction was immediate. If you watch the lapel video and you can see, I'm talking to them and then all of a sudden I notice it and I stop everything. Ryan Holitz isn't just a police officer, he's also a father of four young children. The thought of what Crystal was doing to her unborn baby upset and outraged him, and he couldn't hide his emotion. And so I blurted out what was on my mind. Are you pregnant? Why are you going to be doing that stuff? It's going to ruin your baby. Ryan's raw honesty brought Crystal Champ to tears. You're, you're going to kill your baby. It was clear she'd also thought about that, and it was just as devastated by it as the officer. Well, at that point, I my my primary concern was for her well-being and that of her her unborn child. All right, man. What's your name? Crystal. All right. How far along are you? Oh my gosh. Okay. And the baby she was carrying 
wasn't her first child. Where's your second child at right now? Okay. Crystal confirmed what the officer feared most. She just shot up. This morning? How expensive is your habit right now? 40, 60, 100. What she said next, he never expected to hear. What do you think is going to happen to your child when it's born? Um, the baby is going up for adoption. Immediately? At that moment, her humanity broke through. I have never had anyone who's addicted tell me that they know that they can't take care of their child in their current circumstance, they? that they want the best for their child, and therefore they want to, someone to take their child and place them in a loving family. But that's exactly what Crystal intended to find for her unborn baby. Do you know who's going to adopt your baby? Oh. Do you have a tissue or something over here? The officer was done asking questions for now, and it wasn't really because he needed to find her a tissue. Really, that was kind of my excuse to stop because I was very emotional. Emotional because of what he knew was about to happen. As soon as she told me, the words left her mouth that she, she said, I'm looking for someone to adopt my baby. I asked her if she had found anybody and she told me no. I knew right then that I was going to offer. So why would a 27-year-old husband and father of four offer to adopt the baby of a drug-addicted stranger? For a cop whose mission in life is to help others, the answer is very simple. Because I was the one hearing her. When somebody asks for help, uh, the person who hears is responsible. Crystal asked for help, and Officer Ryan was prepared to offer it. I turned off my camera, I went to my car, to collect my thoughts. Up next, a baby, an adoption, and a visit to the White House. That was probably the most unexpected thing to happen. The incredible ending that deserves our badge of honor. I never met anybody so unselfish. Were you shocked by what he offered to do? I was. I mean, I thought my job was to teach him 